I'm gonna juice this tangerine here, put it in the oven, cook of the year. People are gonna be like, what she thinking? Then they're gonna eat it, be like, what she drinking? <laughs> Last week, you voted for tangerine and mint. Tangerines and mint in soup, you say? I say the same thing. But what would funny side up be if we didn't try funny and crazy, ridiculous things? Butternut squash soup. Oh, everyone loves butternut squash soup. I found this recipe that had butternut squash with tangerines. It was a soup recipe. But it seemed like a really, really sweet recipe, like it had honey, and it didn't have like the savory qualities of the butternut squash incorporated. And that's what I'm gonna try to do today. It's gonna be delicious. So let's just get started. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Something that typically goes into soups is what the French call mirepoix. Carrots, celery, and onions. But we're going to separate our mirepoix tonight because we're going to roast the onions with the butternut squash in the oven. And then we're going to add the carrots and the celery um, later in the big stock pot. So what you're going to do with this butternut squash is wash it, peel it, cut it, and then cube it. To this add one medium sized yellow onion. So first what we'll do, pour a little bit of olive oil on top some salt and pepper. Mix it with your hands. Sometimes when you're roasting vegetables you add a little bit of sugar to speed up the caramelization process and that's where this tangerine juice is gonna come in. We're just gonna juice one tangerine. Do you want to know a little bit more about tangerines? Well here I am to tell you. Tangerines are an orange citrus fruit. They're a variety of the mandarin orange, which I ate many of out of a can as a young child. They're sweeter than a regular orange. Their season is November to January. Wouldn't you know it, we're smack dab in the middle of November to January. They're called tangerines because they're originally from Tangier, Morocco. Or is it Tangier? Well, it's either Tangier or Tangier. Which one sounds better to you? And they're a great source of vitamin C. Let's juice one. Mmm, juice of the tan of one tangerine gave us about a tablespoon of juice. Pour it over the butternut squash and onions. And we're also just gonna give like a drizzle, like a half cup or so of vegetable broth. We're gonna put this in the oven and let it roast for about an hour and a half. have been taken out of the oven. oven. It probably only took like an hour, I would say. So this is like three medium-sized carrots. <gasps> Whoa! This is about three ribs of celery. And we'll just let these cook for a few minutes until they soften. I'm gonna add the butternut squash and the onions. To this, we will also add a little over two cups of vegetable broth. For right now, the juice of one tangerine. If we want to add more later, we will. Before you mix it, add some salt and pepper. Ginger, just like a pinch. Pinch your nutmeg. Making the bromelada. A gremolata is a chopped herb condiment, usually containing garlic, parsley, and lemon zest. But today, we are going to make a gremolata containing mint, toasted walnuts, you guessed it, tangerine zest. We'll just combine this gremolata in a bowl. Mint. It's an aromatic perennial herb, the one that you're most commonly used to finding in its fresh form. Spearmint. It has a cool aftertaste and a sweet flavor. And medicinally, mint is used to help stomach aches and digestion problems. Chopping up the mint will be a lot easier if you do it chiffonade style, which is where you 
lay all the mint leaves flat and then we're just gonna roll them just hold them in place and we'll just all the way down so in addition to the mint I happen to have some walnuts lying around so I decided to toast them in a pan I'm just gonna give these a rough chop and last but most certainly not least tangerine zest zest it pretty simple tangerine Mix it up and there you have it. Keep it heated on medium. Now for serving, get yourself a bowl, ladle some soup in, dollop a bit of Greek yogurt on top, which will sort of replace us adding any cream into the soup. Sprinkle some of the gremolata on top of that. And remember when we made those bread cubes for the stuffing? Well, you can do the exact same thing and you've got croutons for soup. Do it. I'll see you in two seconds when we're about to eat. actually really delicious. The citrus flavor tastes really balanced in the soup. It doesn't come at you like this big surprise. As soon as the mint touched my mouth, it was like a piece of it stuck. It was that cooling factor that I was talking about. Honestly, I have to say this was a smashing success and I had all of my doubts behind it. Good job. Make it yourselves. Enjoy it on a cold, wintry day. And I'll see you next week for the beginning of the Homemade gift holiday special. Picture yourself in a boat on a river with tangerine trees and marmalade sky.